Welcome to Congregation Beth Jacobs' Solomon Project. The Solomon Project is a much needed renewal and renovation of Beth Jacobs' physical facilities. The project is named after King Solomon, who built the first holy temple in Jerusalem, and who understood that Jews constituted a sacred community, a Kehillah Kedosha, and that we need a welcoming place to come together as a community to worship, celebrate, and learn. Over the next few minutes, this slideshow will explain why the project is so important to our congregation, show you some of the initial plans and designs, and describe how you can help make our synagogue's future bright. The Solomon Project has been in the planning stages for the past three years. First, a high-quality leadership team of dedicated volunteers and skilled professionals came together to create a plan and begin work. Our architect, working with our clergy staff and leadership, conducted a detailed assessment of our needs, establishing a clear understanding of where our current facilities need repair, where they fall short in supporting the programs and mission of our congregation, and what aspects of our facilities should be preserved and strengthened. With the help of an experienced fundraising consultant, we conducted a fundraising feasibility study, interviewing a cross-section of our membership to determine just how committed our congregation would be to the Solomon Project. The results were strongly positive. Members were excited about the opportunity to renew our facilities in support of our wonderful community. Based on the feasibility study, an initial quiet phase of fundraising for large donations began. The feasibility study proved to be correct. This quiet phase has raised nearly $2.4 million and we are well on our way to making the Solomon Project a reality. In recognition of economic realities and to minimize the synagogue's risk, a phased approach has been developed based on our long-term master plan. Phase one, for which we hope to break ground in 2010, will be a $3.5 million project that will address many of the areas where our facilities are not keeping up with the needs of our congregation. What are those needs? Congregation Beth Jacob is alive with involved members, exciting programs, and talented leadership. The goal of the Solomon Project is to provide the physical facilities that our congregation needs to thrive now and into the future. We are a congregation of approximately 450 families comprising 1,100 members located at the epicenter of the fastest growing Jewish community in the United States. This year, we set a record for the number of new members. At Beth Jacob, 175 young people attend religious school. 150 members learn together in our award-winning adult education programs. We have one of the most involved social and Israel action congregations in the Bay Area. And just as important, we are well run with a balanced budget and a history of sound financial management. The Solomon Project will serve the mission of our synagogue. At Congregation Beth Jacob, we strive to create an environment of passionate learning and of spiritual growth in which we are able to internalize Judaism. We believe that Judaism makes the ordinary holy and are committed to teaching these values as they apply to our community and to each of us as individuals. We encourage participation by all and strive to create a multi-level, multi-generational model where values are brought alive. We accomplish this mission through Talmud Torah, learning, tefillah, worship, tikkun olam, social action, kehillah, community building, and kedushat chayim, observance of life cycle events. Physical facilities are a critical ingredient in all of these programs and currently, in many respects, a significant drawback to accomplishing our mission. Our overall master plan for our facilities includes virtually all of our indoor spaces and the addition of an outdoor sanctuary and new inside and outside gathering spaces. Phase one will focus on the highest priorities. First, our deteriorated infrastructure, plumbing, roofing, heating, collapsing exterior walls and dry rot. Second, creating an atmosphere of welcome, integration and physical comfort. Our current main entrance, which is small, unwelcoming and hard to identify, will be replaced by an expressive main entry that invites you in, a Delet Hazmana. This new entry patio will give our synagogue a much needed front door. Once inside, you'll be able to see where you are and where you are going for activities in the daytime or at night. Third, the Solomon Project will introduce new gathering spaces that can house programs of different sizes and types, including the conversion of our lobby into a welcoming reception hall. Our existing lobby, with its low ceilings, poor lighting, 
and unclear direction to the sanctuary, chapel, or social hall will be replaced with a beautiful new reception hall, our Ulam Katan. This enlarged space, with high ceilings, natural light, air conditioning, and, yes, modernized bathrooms, is a place where we can gather for the many dinners, kiddushim, and events that aren't big enough for our social hall, as well as an inviting lobby with places to visit and chat. The office entry and reception area will be reconfigured as well to make sure they are functional and easy to find. This renewed space will provide welcoming and clearly identified entries to the social hall and sanctuary. Looking back toward the main entry, you can also see a new interior entrance to a remodeled chapel. This will include a vestibule to obtain prayer books and tali tote before entering a chapel service. Our new reception hall will be a beautiful and inviting center for our community, welcoming us, providing us with new places to gather and celebrate, and guiding us to the other areas of the synagogue. The fourth element of phase one is the enhancement of key spaces to meet our programmatic needs, such as a remodeled, enlarged, and more flexible chapel. Our current chapel is showing its age, with poor lighting and ventilation. It's too small for our High Holy Day alternate services and for many weddings and other life cycle events for which our sanctuary is too big. Viewed from the bima, you will see a modernized, well-lit, intimate chapel, our Beit Midrash, with a movable wall in the back. This wall connects the chapel to a new interior space that is now a little used and unattractive outdoor patio. Looking toward the ark from the back of the chapel, you can see in the foreground the new interior space. This can be closed off and used for a meeting room, classes, or a small reception. When the wall is opened up, additional seating will allow the chapel to be expanded for larger services and ceremonies. From its new entry off the new reception hall, the chapel will be a welcoming, intimate space with new natural light, air conditioning, and seating closer to the Torah table. These improvements solve our most pressing facilities problems. By renewing our infrastructure and renovating the center of our facilities, the current entry patio, lobby, and chapel, we go a long way to realizing the promise of our programs and mission, and we lay the groundwork for a future phase two. Remember that these are the initial design drawings. Many details have yet to be finalized. As exciting as these drawings are, it is important that we stay grounded in the guiding principles behind the Solomon Project. Our facilities renewal is driven by the needs of our programs, members, and mission. We are not out to make architectural statements or win awards. We are out to build something beautiful, useful, and long-lasting that will take our Kehila Kadosha from strength to strength. Our designs and master plan build on our core strengths. They integrate with and match our distinctive mid-century architecture. In phase two, we will add outdoor spaces that maximize the value of our best in the U.S. Redwood City climate. Beth Jacob is our spiritual home, and the Solomon Project will be in keeping with the location and building we know and love. We will live within our means, and we will not put the congregation into long-term debt. While there is much we could do, we are ensuring that our cost projections and our fundraising projections are conservative. We will not break ground until we are sure that our congregation will not incur a long-term debt burden as a result. Lastly, we will ensure that the Solomon Project team has the appropriate professionals and skills. Whatever we do, we will do with quality and responsibility. The Solomon Project results will be functional, beautiful, and lasting. How can you help? The Solomon Project is a true and unique mitzvah. Building sacred spaces is one of the oldest mitzvot, one of the first things our forebears did as a community after we escaped slavery in Egypt. Like all mitzvot, caring for our synagogue is both our blessing and our responsibility. We encourage you to learn about this project. Welcome a meeting with the Solomon team member who calls you. Listen, offer your feedback, and join the excitement. Be generous. This is a community effort. When you are asked to give, do so from your heart. We ask that you consider a multi-year pledge that is meaningful to you, suited to your means, and that you will feel good about. This is a once-in-a-generation opportunity. Please think about what you can give each year for the next three to five years, in addition to your dues, and make that your pledge. Most of all, please participate. The true blessing of renewing our synagogue is that we do it together as a community. The Talmud quotes Choni the Sage as saying, All my life I have enjoyed food and shade provided by trees that were planted by those who came before me. 
As my ancestors planted for me, I plant now for the generations to come. The Solomon Project is being undertaken by our entire congregation to ensure Beth Jacob's future as a vibrant, thriving community. At an opportune time for the growing population of Jews on the peninsula and at a critical time for Jewish identity and continuity. We hope you and all of our members will be inspired to take part in the mitzvah of renovating and rebuilding Congregation Beth Jacob's beloved home.